Marcus, baby, what happened to you? Nothing, man. Who do I have to go take to the good Lord today? Oh, wow, holy steel. What? Wait, wait, what are you doing here? How did you find Doesn't me? matter, doesn't matter. You know, I got Bonnie and Clyde with me. What you doing here? I, I live. Why are you talking when we're asking questions? Because he just. Who said talk to her? You talk to me. Would you help me out for a second? Seems to be a little bit distracted at the moment. Look at me. <laughs> no, look at me. Both of you, look at me. Now I ask yourself. If he didn't live in this house, do you think he'd be able to come through that door? Well, I, no, I, I'm, but I'm going to find out. I just told you he lived here. No, you said, and I quote, that if he didn't live... Be, oh, wait. Be bop and rock steady. Go sit your simple selves down. <laughs> Man, I'm tired. I'm always getting in trouble. I'm grown. I ain't got time for this. What you say? Nothing, mama. What? You the damn moose in this situation. Rock steady. Wait, what? You the moose in this scenario with your tall ass. First of all, uh, Bebop and Rock steady was a rhino on Warhawk. You talking about Rocky and Bullwinkle? Shut up and sit down. So, if I can assume correctly, you do live here. Oh, yeah, I live right upstairs, right over there, actually. Mm, good. My name is Mira. Pleasure. Everybody calls me Auntie Mira. But you can call me Auntie Nasty. Okay. Right now, I have somebody else in needs punishment. Baby. Baby, I need you to tell me what happened. Why didn't you tell me you was in town? And where the hell is Bryce when you need him? Well, as you guys see, I was handled like a fragile package at the airport. <laughs> you say I'm not. I am not amused. Uh, you're not funny. Yeah? Well, your jokes are as broken as your nose. Ha, 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 you ha, ha. and funny. Like, you're a cat. Don't blow his head up. He may float into orbit. Bro, did you at least make a police report? <laughs> a police report? For the police? I did. But, really, what do you go with his name? I'm a black man in America. It's bad enough they labeled her as mistaken identity. Okay, I got the police thing. Now, you still haven't answered my questions. How long have you been here, and where is Bryce? Mm. Okay. Me and Bryce got divorced. I asked yourself to stay here. I've been sleeping on the couch while I was looking for, looking for a place. I've been here for a few months. Divorced? Months? Couch? Wait a minute, bro. Yesterday, you told me you and him was good, and he was on his way to work. Yeah, about that. I see. I know that look. Marcus, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Why the hell you didn't tell me you was here? Ow! That's what you get. Because if you weren't hurt, I would hurt you my damn self. Does your mother know? That old trifling. No. No. She does not know. She doesn't need to find out. She knows that Michelle's going to come. She's going to bring her husband, and that's a big no for me. Well, I understand why you did that. Why? What happened? Which time? <laughs> last, last time we were all together, her husband and friends said some rude comments about Bryce and, and Marcus. So I checked those dude, and gave him a black eye, and we got kicked out of the country club. Damn, Marcus. I guess you don't do good in club, do you? <laughs> Shut up, Josh. What's up? I don't want y'all to think that this had anything to do with y'all. I just need to handle this on my own. It's bad enough that everybody had to see how far I fell. So just please don't tell me about it. Marcus, we family. We're not worried about that. Tell it to our mama. Oh, that's another story. 
Okay, Marcus, we won't tell. Yeah, we won't tell. <laughs> but what you gonna do when your name is plastered all over the news talking about Marcus Andos? Maybe. Take care of yourself. You seem, you seem healthy. Stay that way. Miles and Mercedes. Bro, I need you to get better. If you need me for anything, call me anything. I will. Come on, move. Come on. Oh. Oh. All right, man. You know I got you. Stop flinching. Keep us posted, man. It's my big brother. He's all I got. We'll take care of him. He got him. Give me the keys, mama. You're not supposed to be driving. Says who? The law. I gotta go. Wait. What are you talking with this family? I don't know. I tried to tell you. Hey. I'm sorry about that, guys. But, um, how exactly did they find out? Okay, well, I was at the grocery store, <laughs> minding my business like always, and I happened to stumble across Mercedes trying to fight a car. A car? Yep. Seriously. I was more afraid for the car than I was for Mercedes. Yeah, I would be too. Did you see those two? It's like Boris and Natasha from the hood. Mm hmm. Chris, why are you so mad at me? I said I was sorry for being distracted. Come on, man, talk to me. I'm not mad at you, per se. I'm just mad at the whole thing going on. I don't think you understand how things keep happening the way that they do. And for it to finally get home, I can't take off my skin. Wait, what? Black people in television, movies, the news, we're all depicted as no good people. People assume that we're all like this. None of it's true. I'm one of the most loving people I know. You even said it yourself the other day, Josh. What, wait, what did I say? If I'm angry, I automatically become a target. My best friend on the couch, who was misidentified, goes to show you that this country has not moved past its racist roots yet. This puts a lot into perspective, man. But what do you mean you can't take off your skin? Black Lives Matter, for some reason, is controversial. When we say it, people think we're saying they don't matter. The slogan isn't only Black Lives Matter. It's just Black Lives Count. We need them to realize that. But they want to come at us with Blue Lives Matter. But really, what's a blue person? Somebody so black they blue? They can take off the badge and clothes. We can't take off our skin. And either they can see the injustice in their ranks, or they can take off the badge for good. Yeah, it's time we stop getting hunted in a free country. Oh, dude, you're bleeding. Let me call Alex. I'm sure the medical team at the station is not top notch. You need to get that cleaned up, man. Yeah. They didn't take me to the hospital, so. It's the medical staff, man. Horrible. Oh, let me hear it for Alex here. Hey, oh, hey, Gabon. Hey, Marcus. How you feeling? Like a birthday pinata. Ah, uh, hey. That sucks. It's good, man. I'm just, I'm just going to go over here. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I got it. You sure? Mm-hmm. Hey, you need to go clean up. Hey, Josh. What's up, man? Uh, you good? Yeah, I just came to check up on Marcus. He's doing as well as to be expected. That's good. That's good. Think uh, I could use a shower? Yeah, man. Use the big one in the big bedroom once he's out of there. The master bedroom? I am not living in the house with two black men calling my bedroom <laughs> the master's bedroom. <laughs> 
That's a good idea. Yeah, I thought so. But wait, what's wrong with your shower? No, 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 no. Why would you, if your shower worked, drive all the way across town just to come use ours? All right, man. I want Chris to find out, but I'm sorry behind all my bills, and I lost my place a few weeks ago. Weeks? How many? Like eight. Bro, that's like two months. Where you been staying? Casa Caban. I call it Caban, but it's really my tiny car. <laughs> it's not that funny. Yeah, it is. It's imagining you in this tiny little car. <laughs> Why did you just tell him to come stay here? I have to prove to Chris I can do things on my own. Look, when you get tired of staying in your tiny little house, you can just come and stay on one of the couches. That sounds good. Uh, I really need this shower. <laughs> yeah, look, the towels are in the cupboard in the bathroom. Thank you. Okay. Josh, Alex will be here to check on Marcus. Come on. Anyway, make sure the bandages are done because I have to get some rest. Okay, I got you. Come on, what are you doing? Um, I'm here to borrow the shower. Where are you taking it? I'm gonna take it here. Take it here. Never mind. What is going on with your shower? Uh, didn't you say the uh, water was off in your building? Yeah, yeah, the whole block actually. Uh, there, it's now for uh, maintenance. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? This is me. today, but I can't because there's so much going on and it's yeah. kind of like... Chris, you gotta stop putting your dreams on hold for everybody else. It's your opportunity. Yeah. It's your time to do Chris. We'll be here when you get back. Love you guys. Now when you get there, tell the teacher, call oh, this Lord. Let's wrap you up, man. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's gonna sting a little bit. Sorry. Thanks again for coming, Doc. I know Chris had to go, but. I appreciate you still coming. Don't worry about it. God, it pisses me off the way they treat people and then not give proper care to the wound. How disgusting to treat people. You better be happy with Marcus. So let's love you, Trent. You over time. Thank you too, Trent. Well, you know, what we're we gonna do about it? There's a protest going on in regards to all the police brutality. Really? Mm -hmm. Your name's up there. We'll be marching on your behalf. Well, I know what I'm doing today. How's that feel? Hey, Kelsey. Hello, Kavon. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Marcus. Afternoon, Amber. Thank you. Good afternoon. Hey, Amber. I got soup. I'm not sick. Soup makes everything better. Yo! Hey, I love this neighborhood. There's chicken heads everywhere. Hey, Colonel! Try to see some breast, legs, and thighs, man. She got up for the night. Not gonna happen. What the hell happened to you? He was misidentified. He was assaulted. He was beaten. <laughs> Your mom found out you were in town and you didn't tell her, right? Huh? No, this has nothing to do with my mom. It's the police. But how much did I tell you that night? Me? Nothing. The girls on the ride home, 
<laughs> Wait, what's this about us burning down a police station? No, no one's burning down anything. There's a protest. You're welcome to join us. Protest with a bonfire, right? Bro, that would end your career if you got caught. So? And? We make up 18% of the country, but we're 52% of the prison system. We don't need to give them another reason to lock us up. I think we should do the peaceful protest route first. Peaceful. You mean like Martin Luther King in 68? Yes. I mean, Kennedy had a He was assassinated. Peaceful doesn't work. Uh, Huey P. Newton, 89. Founder of the Black Captain? Yeah. Free food for you? Yeah. Shot in the dark. Asad Shakur. Maker Evers. Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick's not dead. His career is dead. It's the same thing. Jesus. Jesus? He was black and peaceful. Hung from across. It works, whatever. Look. You mean like them? Yeah, just like them. But like them, we have to be better than our president. I mean, oppressors. What's the difference? <clears throat> Protesting is necessary, not arson. Mac, I need you to be my wingman on this one. Okay. But if you hear, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water to let that mother. Really? No way to jump in? This is unacceptable. No, my client will not sign the deal. We want his badge and his jail time. It seems like everybody wants you to sign something nowadays. It's almost like you're famous. Who, me? I'm just over here being truthful, laying knowledge on all my friends. Knowledge? I don't know about that. Opinion, maybe. But knowledge? Yeah. Well, then let me lay some knowledge on you. The officer that oppressed Marcus has a long line complaint for using unnecessary force. Apparently he's been transferred six times already. And the best part is he's been taken out on paid administrative leave pending further investigation. Excuse me? Oh, I will show him unnecessary force. Where are my matches? He's under protective custody because of all the protests going on. Oh, he's under protective custody. Must be nice. <laughs> the other officer actually contacted me about testifying against him. Apparently when she went to file a case, they shut her down and put her on desk duty, pending insubordination hearing. She did seem just as confused as I was. Well, she didn't seem confused to me. She seems like she knows exactly what she wants. To get you justice. Wow. Well, I guess I should get ready for the protest, huh? Yeah. Here, let me help you up to your phone. Thank you. Marcus, I just saw the news. What's going on? Bryce, what are you doing here? Again. Bugging me. Again. I came here to talk about the sale, but I wanted to check on you. We could have talked about this over the phone. I need to talk to you face to face. You good? You good. I'm, I'm gonna go get some water. Baby, Marcus. Marcus. We don't need to talk about this right now. No. You're already here. And I'm already here to you. Talk. Um, I may not have been completely honest about the sale. <clears throat> Look, I have a buyer that's willing to pay a large amount of money. 20% was more than enough. Excuse me? But not enough for you. I should have taken the 20%. Still $400,000. How much are you selling the company for? $2.2 million. I also came over to discuss this. I don't think we have an audience. Which I can get you 60% when I'm done. Wait. That's one. That's $1.2 million, girl! You get a Volkswagen! You get a Volkswagen! We all get a Volkswagen! Come on, it's time to go shopping! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he's not lying. $1.2 million is what's offered for you on the table. <gasps> See, I keep coming back here, running back and forth, driving 20 hours a day, 
I'll watch you back, Marcus. But just, I was hoping that we could we can to work out what we had. Look, I love you. And I'm willing to give up my part of the sale if you just take me back. I'm speechless. Well, I just no, want to no, no, no. Let me talk. There's a lot going on. Bryce, I hate this. But you know, I love you very much. I can't make a decision right now. So please, can we just talk? Stay in town for a while. You go home. Hey, Marcus. Yeah. All that downstairs. All this going on, it's a lot for one person, man. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a lot to think about. Yeah. Good. But hey, about the interview, how'd that go? Um, they gave me a job on the spot. Really? That's so nice of them. Yeah, it was. Honestly, I don't know. You don't know what? I'm gonna stay. That's understandable. Hey, you ready? I'm gonna grab my pants. See you in a minute. All right. Bruised and battered, worn and tattered. No lives matter till black lives matter. Bruised and battered, worn and tattered. No lives matter till black lives matter. Bruised and battered, worn and tattered. No lives matter till black lives matter. Bruised and battered, no worn and tattered. Hey, hey, no. hey, 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 what are you doing? Exercising my First Amendment right? You got a problem? No, I don't have a Good. problem. With Bruised and battered, worn and tattered. No lives matter till black However, lives matter. However, I do have a problem with people stomping all over the American flag. You know what I got a problem with? People who look like me, constantly being oppressed by the same people who represent this flag. Pressure got your tongue? The people that misused their power and misrepresented what this country was supposed to be, those are not the people that I am defending right now. Let me guess. You're here to defend the Constitution and everything it represents. Yes, yes, in a way I do. Look, same men that signed that declaration, stating that all men are created equal, went home and beat grown men and women with a whip because they wouldn't work for scraps. And that's the PG version. But all men created equal. Yeah, you funny. The flag does not represent slavery. It don't represent equality. Look, if it don't represent what it's supposed to, then why does it matter if I walk on it? Dude, there's just a level of respect. Respect to who? Breonna Taylor? Tatiana Jefferson? Stephen Clark? Look, do you get scared for having a phone in your hand? Are you scared you're gonna lose your life? If you call the police at your home, are you scared to lose your life because they mistake you as a criminal in your own house? I bet not. Are you trying to say that all cops are bad? Really? No, I'm not saying all cops are bad. What are you saying? Look, I'm just saying. You can't see the beauty of the garden if you don't remove all the invasive weeds, baby. Baby? My bad. It's something my grandma used to always say. Who, by the way, was tormented her first day of school by the same people who held this flag, yelling at her to go back to her country. She's from Atlanta, Georgia. Where's she supposed to go? And to this day, we still have nowhere to go and feel welcome. There are places white people aren't allowed to go. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean red line. Look, what else were they supposed to do besides hunker down? I get that you're angry, but we bury our loved ones with this flag on their casket. And I should care why? Because these loved ones gave their lives 
in the belief of fighting for your constitutional right to stomp on this flag. So why do veterans get all pissed off for us exercising the same right they swore to defend? Veterans are hotheads. They see someone standing on the flag and it infuriates them. Talking things out really isn't their strong suit. Do you even know why veterans get so angry? Because the indoctrinated sheep? Since grade school taught the players undying allegiance to a country that treats them as collateral? Damn, that's deep. Yeah. No, not exactly. Q, let me ask you a question. If somebody came into your house, took your grandmother's ashes off of the mantle, threw them on the ground, and started stomping all over the ashes, what would you do? I'd be the ass. Exactly. There is a time that every single veteran has had to take the knee at final roll call. Head to a gravesite, remove said flag, fold it, and hand it to the last living family member. This family member then takes that flag home in memory of this honorable, courageous person. Now I understand that this is just a piece of cloth, but it represents a time-honored burial. And when someone turns on the television just to see people stomping out the flag, could you imagine what that child must be feeling? I just hope this may help you understand why these people get so angry. I never thought about it like that. I never intended to disrespect any better. You know, my uncle, he was an army. If he saw me right now, he'd probably beat my ass. Probably. Look, I just want to get my message out that everyone's created equal to get equal respect and a peaceful place to lay their head. Now how we do that is by all coming together to fight against a tyrannical leadership. When we come to the same conclusion that we outnumber them a million to one, their food supply will be cut off. That's a fair move. <laughs> Black lives matter to me. Like I said, I'm here to march for my friend and anyone that believes change is necessary. It's time that we stand together and build this country into what this flag was supposed to represent. But standing on the flag is, disrespect is disrespectful to me, and it matters to me. It's not disrespectful or matter to me. What does matter to you? Black Lives Matter. Okay. Let's take one of these Black Lives Matter flag, tie it to this flag, and march under a unified state. Okay? I'm with it. Let's do it. What? The flag. Can you hand it to me? Oh, my bad. Yeah. Okay. I'll catch up. This is pretty powerful. <laughs> it is. This is great. And you know what the best part? Eric? Alex. <sighs> Thought I'd never see your face around here again. Haven't seen you since you crashed my car in college. <laughs> you know, the insurance couldn't pay for it. You weren't a driver. Cousin never got back home from the airport, had to take an Uber home. Yeah, $250. Couldn't pay my gas or my water bill that day. So cold. My lights were out. You never called. <laughs> never called. And you know what? I said if I ever saw him, I would save him. Unlike you always do, you coward. Whew. Why aren't you wearing your bandages? Because I want them to see what they did to me. Okay. Hey, your friends are too funny, man. Yeah, there yeah, they yeah. are. You seem to know a lot about vets. Sir? Nah, man, my uncle did. Same as yours. 
What job, sir? Oh, he was a mechanic in Texas. Really? It's the same place my uncle served. What was his name? What unit? Anthony Baratis. Really? What unit did he serve with? Uh, I don't remember, but he used to say the old iron side side. <laughs> it's the same as my uncle Anthony. <laughs> when did he serve? Uh, in the 80s. Uh, he actually said there was another Anthony. He said he was the most retentive, anal, strict as he always ever had. <laughs> that sounds like good old Sergeant Anthony Banks, man. It's... I thought he said he was black. Blood don't make you family. Who you bleed for makes you family. Let's do this. Let's do this.